Hello Wargamers, it's me Karen from Tabletop Banter and in today's video we are going to go take a look at my very first tactical squad uh, from my word bearers. And here is the first 10 man uh, veteran tactical squad for my word bearers. Um, as you can see they are all armed with bolt guns. We have ourselves a nice Legion Vexilla on the right there. Uh, sporting the words of the Primarch, well, the name of the Primarch. And uh, lastly, up front is my uh, veteran tactical sergeant with artificer armor and a power sword. Um, and in the back there, you see a rhino, which is about 90% done. Uh, the same can be said for the Marines. There are some things I'd like to add, um, which I will get around to. But I just wanted to show you sort of the look of the tactical score, get a feel for what the word bearers are going to come out like, um, or how they're going to come out like. Now, the first thing to note is I am freehanding on the chapter symbol of the Serrated Sons. And I will just um, move the one who has been freehanded to the front in a moment. Uh, but I haven't done them all right now because lighting at home is a little bit dodgy. And I figured freehanding is just something I can do when I'm tired or bored of painting other stuff. So what I'll probably do is come back and freehand a lot of stuff. But I want to show you the example anyway. So let me just move this fella to the front and you can have a gander. And just like that, on the left, you can see the chapter logo of the Serrated Sons. So just there, here we are, that's the fella. Um, I decided to do the metallic looking one. It looks much better, in my opinion, than the one that has the fire in it. Um, but I just wanted to show you that, because that's basically going to be on all of my marines. Um, it's currently on the front of the rhino, um, along with some text and stuff. And I'm going to do some also some writing, because on this guy as well, You'll notice he's got some uh, some scripture just there on his arm, and there's some on his leg down there as well, um, because I think that really adds quite a lot, um, just a little bit of extra detail. But I wanted to show you this so you could get a feel for what I'm bringing to the table. You know, the the, the look of the word bearers. Um, I'm going to quickly run over how I painted them. I think that's a good idea. I think it means that you have this opportunity to just know how it works for me. Um, so what I did was I ran. Corn red, uh, Citadel's corn red through the airbrush over absolutely everything, um, which gave a nice base coat. And then I also ran Caraburg Crimson, the um, Citadel wash, uh, through the airbrush as well, which really provided the depth I needed and it slightly darkened the tone as well, which works really well for word bearers because a light red isn't always the answer. Um, now, I'm very pleased with the base coat and colour that came out from that. Uh, what I then highlighted it with, with was Wasdaka Red, another Citadel colour, uh, because it just provided this um, very subtle edge highlight. You can't really see it too well on the camera, and that's kind of the, my idea. I wanted it to be more subtle, so that when you looked at the miniature, there was a very soft gradient change, as opposed to something very harsh, like I could have done with a squig orange. Um, as for the blacks, it's very simple. I used model colour, uh, the Vallejo model colour range, and I did a base coat of black, followed by an edge highlight of dark grey. Um, now the, the recesses of all the black was washed with non oil. Now I know it doesn't actually darken it as such, but what it did do was provide a slightly different tone for me to edge highlight around, which was very handy indeed. Um, especially when it came to the shoulder pauldrons, because what I often find is if you pop in a non oil wash that covers up the metallics on the shoulder pauldrons, as well as the inside of the black bit, you get this kind of defined area to edge highlight. It made it much easier for me to get that consistent, consistently, you know, coming out to the finish I wanted it as. Um, as for metallics, for the regular metallics, it was basically lead belcher, non oil wash, and then an iron breaker highlight. Uh, I didn't go with Rune Fan Steel on anything except the power sword uh, because I just feel like it didn't need the extra shine. I kind of got it already from the iron breaker. Um, and. Again, same for the face. I, I basically did a tiny, tiny tri like a triangle shape or three lines on the on the front of the Mark IV helmets with um, Iron Breaker because that was enough. That really did take up the colour an extra level. Uh, as for the power sword here, very simple technique. Um, I'll just turn it this way so you can kind of see like the, what I did was I painted the whole thing lead belcher, then did um, Iron Breaker on the the bladed parts of the sword and just gave it a few glazes with Gilliman Blue. Um, I think it came out pretty nicely. I'm trying a couple of different things with a couple of different of the power swords, but I wanted to keep that metallic finish um, for my 30k stuff. Just because it looks a little more, I don't know, like 
uh, arcane in some respects. I didn't want to go for the cartoony, uh, wet blended power swords. Now, don't get me wrong, I think they look awesome, but it doesn't suit the word bearers in this example, in you know, in 30k, in my opinion. The last thing I did was the eyes. Now, uh, I've done a slightly different technique to usual. Um, I've actually done a proper lens in, in, in some respects. So what I'll do is I'll bring up this fella here and um, I will get the camera to focus appropriately, uh, which should be able to be done on the fly. And there you go. You can see I've done a little lens job here with a little dot in the corner. It's two tones of green. They're not showing up particularly well on the camera, but there is a Caliban green for the whole eye moot green for the front half of the eye and then a tiny tiny dot of white from model color at the back there so that's pretty much it on the front of this unit i really really enjoyed putting them together like that's that was some of the most fun i've had um in, in a while hobby wise you know actually putting the models together and, and and getting a product out of it that i really really am quite pleased with um and uh yeah can be excited for with the rest of them i'm currently painting up the second unit of these fellows um, after having finished one other thing which I will showcase in a future video um, but like I said these are about 95% done they're ready to go on the table I've used crackle paste for the basing because I think it looks awesome I used a ghrelin earth in this particular example um, and they're my kind of like Istvan 5 themed guys you know like a uh, yeah, very much um, the, the massacre I, I just pictured this the deserted wasteland kind of feel uh, that I wanted to uh, encompass in my in my marines um, and I'm just really pleased with how they will come out to be honest with you so I wanted to share it with you obviously they've got their own rhino at the back there um, and there'll be two more squads identical to this that you'll get to see um, as I progress so thank you ever so much for watching I do hope you've enjoyed um, just the first look at my first unit of, of 30k basically I've been super excited to share it with you I've recently um, finished up a couple of extra bits so that they are ready to be um, shared and with uh, the finishing of another unit and uh, and a couple of other character -y bits there will be more to come on the showcasing of the word bearers so again thank you ever so much for watching if you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like uh, and comment below let me know what you think um, what you'd like to see uh, in the future from 30k content perspective like just updates I'm gonna do some lore stuff I'm gonna hopefully get a couple of games in who knows um, so yeah if you want to leave that in the comments and finally of course don't forget to subscribe if you are enjoying this I'm trying to get more regular with my content and hopefully that's coming through now um, so thank you ever so much for watching uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one and in the meantime don't forget have fun